So okay, I think, you know, most of you guys at some point know the scissor sweep. Cross collar grip, sleeve, boom. Again, looking at your watch and then sweeping the guy. Now, something that happens a lot of times is if you get here, the guy gives you a good base and he knows what's going on, so you're not gonna be able to sweep him, right? We're gonna maintain the grips, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my foot that's on the outside over here on the hip, and I'm gonna take my knee and, it's, and put it on the, put it like in front of the arm. So if you're looking at that, right? Go back in here. So we're here, keeping them tight, kick it out, and putting it right over top of the arm. And what we're doing is we're basically pinning his arm to his chest. Okay, and you have to be quick about this. And don't make it like a smooth motion, because I, I see guys when sometimes when they try it out, they'll do this and they try to swing and it just, it, it gives the guy too much of a heads up. So what you really need to do is you really need to pop that leg in and then make your angle, okay? So let's look at it again. Cross collar, sleeve, get the idea. So if you already know that the scissor switch just isn't working for you, go into switch this. Put the foot on the hip, put that shin, against the person's bicep with your foot on the outside here hooking. Okay, so this way you just make it a little bit more difficult for them to bring their arm out. From here, hang in and really punch that, that leg through and we're gonna push off of the hip over here and roll back to the side. Notice I'm still pulling Boom, over top. And we've already got this nice sharp angle for the triangle lock. And again, when you finish your triangle, guys, don't just focus on pinching the knees. Focus first on keeping the, this leg clamped down, locking over top here. And I, I tell my students sometimes to keep this foot pointing up for the simple fact it gives you a little bit of a latch, okay? Because you don't want to lock your triangle over top of your foot. Because if he raises up, if he's a strong wrestler or something, his head shoots up. If you're locked over here, the weakest link is this, these little muscles here. And a lot of times you'll get those popped or extended, whatever. So lock over top of the... The, the shin here, even if you can't get it all the way full depth, you can still finish this thing, watch. Okay, the key is to pinch the knee in by kicking your foot out and clamping down with your hamstring to remove the space instead of just pushing the head down and pinching the knees, okay? So, cross collar, thumb, hip escape, foot on the hip instead of on the outside. Leg's gonna wing out, put that knee right into the middle of the chest. Shin's cut, uh, pushing the arm against the body and that foot is hooking right behind the arm. When you're ready to go, you really have to kick this thing through because the guy's probably gonna be tight and we have constant tension with the grips here. Kick that through. Cut your angle by pushing off of the hip and notice at no point does my head or my upper shoulder like drag across the mat, constant in a uh, crunch position. Lock the grip here guys and again, Pinch the knee here, keep that foot locked up, and then extend right there. And again, we can go over top here, lock this arm up just to remove any other options from it. Okay. Uno mas. You still with us? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. I mean, that's a, just a really simple triangle that you can add into your game super early because the fact that you're utilizing a sweep that usually like, was one of the first sweeps that you'll learn in jiu-jitsu with a scissor sweep. And I'm done talking. Mr. Adam Wilson. Adam Wilson.